Hi, it's Rich with True Light Pools. Uh, today we're going to answer the question, uh, is it going to hurt my pool to overflow? Uh, should I allow my pool to overflow or do I need to go out during the storm and try to drain water out of it? Um, this is Rich with True Light Pools. Come to you from Bryan College Station, Texas, specializing in keeping the pools clean and repairing the equipment. Um, so, uh, yeah, to answer your question, I've been told by some customers after they got a pool built, the pool builder told them, do not, absolutely do not let your pool overflow. I have no idea why they say that. Uh, your, your pool structure is not going to be hurt by heavy rains and uh, the water overflowing over the coping and just running off the deck. Um, I have no idea why that the, the pool builder said that and so the customer called me frantic during heavy rains it's lightning and storming and she's out there trying to figure out how to drain her pool don't don't do that and I don't like I said the, the pool builder told them incorrectly uh, wh what's going to hurt the pool there's nothing that's gonna hurt it's not like the pool's gonna float away it's got plenty of water in it uh, is the coping, is the, is the tile going to float away? Is it going to come off? Is it going to pop off? Is the deck going to be hurt? No. no. Nothing is going to be hurt by the pool overflowing. Occasionally, whenever there's heavy rains. So, uh, please do not go out during a storm um, and try to, to worry about draining some of the pool you're going to get struck by lightning. Just stay inside. The pool's going to be fine. Um, now, I'll actually show you how to drain the pool if you have, uh, you know, after the rains have stopped and you have it all the way up to the coping, well, go ahead and bring it back down to the normal level, you know, halfway, two-thirds of the way up the skimmer opening. Now, how do you do that? Uh, so, if you have a DE filter or sand filter, you're going to have some kind of a valve on it and you can go to waste mode and then that just goes straight through the pipes and takes the water out to waste. Backwashing, if you have a DE or sand filter, actually goes through the filter. If it's time for you to backwash, great. We'll use some of that water, go ahead and backwash, and then for DE filters, recharge with DE. But, uh, but if you're normally just trying to remove a, a large amount of water, you're usually gonna put it on waste selection and then just run it out. It'll go out your waistline bypassing the filter not actually going through the filter and that's how you're going to reduce the the amount of water in the, the water level in the pool I'll show you the DE filter in just a second this is a normal DE filter here um, and so you're going to change the you stop the pump push the selector down and put it to waste um, and then or if it's a sand filter you do the same thing stop the pump change it to waste and then start it up again and then you know you'll just i'm not sure how long it'll take to bring it down to a normal level but that's how you remove water from the pool um, and then if you have a cartridge filter like the one that like the one i'm about to show you if you have this is a cartridge filter if you have a cartridge filter you have just a straight pipe coming in and out of the filter uh, so the way you reduce the pool level that way is the builder usually puts a faucet valve on top of the discharge on the pipe and so you just attach a hose to it run it out uh, open the faucet valve and then while the pump is running open it and it'll you'll be able to drain some water out of the pool um, that's how you drain water out of the pool but again it does not hurt the pool structure for it to actually overflow over the coping um, and just flow out that way so please don't be out in a storm trying to drain uh, water from the pool uh, it's safe for you to be inside and the pool will take care of itself. Alright, we'll see you next time.